What is going on guys? We are back playing some more Surviving with Immersive Engineering. Now today guys, we're going to be taking a little bit of a break from the huge project we've been working on over there because we've been working on it for like three episodes now and it's so close to being done guys and I'm really excited to finish it, but I kind of want to go back to doing a little bit more like immersive engineering specific stuff for an episode or two and then we can jump back to that. So today we're going to be working on altering a lot of the wiring around the base and learning all the different things there are to learn about uh, wiring and using transformers and breaker switches and you know all that good stuff because I've noticed that the wiring around my base is a little cluttered and there are a lot of things that immersive engineering offers to make wiring easier and more effective so uh, in my inventory if we look in here I have a bunch of different things and it's a little messy because it just got auto sorted unfortunately but uh, we're gonna be using the transformers today I have both of them I've got a capacitor we've got all the different connectors we don't have a relay but we're not gonna need that but we're gonna be using powered lanterns a breaker switch all that good stuff um, and finally I made wire cutters because I want to say right now that when you're messing around with wiring wire cutters are are your best friend because instead of having to go and break the wire connectors you can just use the wire cutters to you know just snip the wire and get it back so uh before we start today i would suggest if you're going to be you know doing anything with wiring that you make wire cutters they're really cheap and they're really nice to have so most of the work we're going to be doing today is going to be relating to the power that we are getting from what i would call our kind of like a windmill farm um our green portion of energy unlike this system but uh, yeah the main reason I want to use this is because we're not really doing anything with the power right now it was to go over here but I have different plans for actually what we're gonna use to power over there later so uh, it's just kind of sitting here right now so to start things out we are just gonna break this get all this stuff back and break this again and the main thing that made me want to do this was the fact that this was crossing over the road and it kind of looked really awkward and gross and i just wasn't a big fan of it so uh what we're going to be doing is let's take this back one more and we're going to be doing a lot of work right over here and then we're going to wire it back and hook it up to a bunch of powered lanterns and we're going to hook it up to these two systems right over here so we're going to take first things first and get the powered lanterns right over here and we're going to throw them on and the reason we're going to do this is because it's pretty easy to wire between these so we can just hook these up oh gotta love that um but yeah we can go through break all these replace them and previously i think i had tried to wire these using medium voltage wire but i was informed that they actually only take low voltage wire which i guess makes sense because you'd overload the uh the bulb or at, you know whatever's in these lights but uh you'd overload it with uh, too much power so we're gonna take the low voltage wire and we're actually gonna wire between these and they should be close enough that they can have a wire and this is gonna look a lot nicer because it's gonna be running along the same side and along with this uh, although they will produce light they will also prevent monsters from spawning uh, I want to say it's a 30 block radius it's kind of like a magnum torch uh, so even if it doesn't light up the area it prevents them from spawning which is it's I mean it's kind of irrelevant at this point just because uh, i have you know torches over a significant chunk of my base but i still think it'll be cool so now we need to wire this back and this right here is not low voltage cable so there's a couple things that i want to do with this so we're going to be using the breaker switch to kind of make it like i guess you could call it like a light switch and there's really no reason we need to turn these off but i want to use it just to kind of show you guys how it works and then along with that we're going to be using the transformer now the reason i have both of these is because you can actually use a transformer and a high voltage transformer uh not interchangeably but a high voltage transformer can do everything a low voltage transformer or regular transformer can do um, it's just more expensive so if you you know for some reason made one of these and you don't need it anymore you can use it in place of a regular transformer it'll do the same thing but I would not suggest being like oh yes I need a regular transformer but because I'm some hipster kid I want to go make a high voltage one so I can be cool like no I wouldn't do that but you can if you really want to so uh, what I want to do first is make it so that we run this back to kind of like a wall over here and it's a little weird that it's going to be hooked up to a wall but i think it'll be a little bit easier to do it like that and the ground over here is kind of rough so i don't know i guess i'll make the wall like right here it'll be a little bit close to our whole system going on over here but uh, it should be okay so we're going to make it like this and we're going to leave that center one gone and we will break this one right here and 
put this up here and eventually I might make this look a little bit better but for now this is how we're going to do it so we're going to be putting the breaker switch right in the center here so we need to actually fill that in and we put the breaker switch and oh look it's so fancy yeah not really actually but uh it is cool so if we put a redstone lamp down here if you flip the breaker switch even if there's nothing there it just kind of acts like a lever and it'll you know turn that on and the reason I have that there is A, to show you guys that you can use something like that. So you can either emit a redstone signal or if you want to have like a lamp there or something, you can do that. Um, but the main purpose of this is that when you don't have it pushed in or when the light is not on, I should say, it will not allow energy to, or when it's not pushed in, it will not allow energy to pass through. Now you can't invert the redstone signal and you can click on it with an engineer's hammer or right click on it. And now it'll light up like this. Um, I don't really see why you'd want to do that because you know no light down here means no energy passing through but uh yeah you can do that if you want to so uh, the main thing that we're going to do with this is be connecting the low voltage wire from here so we're going to connect it on that side and we're just going to link it right over to this guy so if we were to have power coming through this right now it would not do anything to the light because this is breaking the connection between the two wires and I mean, it's a pretty simple concept, but uh, you cannot use this with high voltage wires. Um, that's one thing that's unfortunate because I was planning on using it over here with my excavator, but you can't actually use it with the high voltage wires. So unfortunate, but true. So now we need to do uh, a little bit more work over here because we have medium voltage coming in to our low voltage. And man, that windmill has stopped up there and it's probably just because the stupid snow is on the ground. That's unfortunate. We'll have to go fix that later. But uh, we have to convert this, and we're going to be using a regular transformer to do this. Now, the reason I'm kind of thinking about how I want to place this is, uh, I mean, there there is a good reason for it, but um, I guess we can just kind of do it like this. So you can hook up a regular transformer to a wooden post, and it looks really cool. And it's mainly for aesthetics, but it does look really nice. Uh, you cannot hook up a high voltage transformer to it, but we're gonna throw this down, and I've never actually tried this before, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but let's try throwing it down right here. And how in line is this with this post? Okay, so I wonder what happens if you just like click it on there. Okay, so that's what it looks like. That's what I expected it to look like, of course, because I've seen pictures of it, but I didn't know how it connected. I just guess it just kind of like latches on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the medium voltage and we're gonna continue it from over here and link it up to this guy. And it links to the bottom one. And then the top one, we are going to take our low voltage wire and we are going to, oh, let's get up there. Oh, I guess you can, you just click the box, I guess. I'm trying to click the top one, but I guess you just click the box. And then we're gonna link it down here. And you can see these lights don't turn on, but if we flip this, boom, they all turn on. Now, unfortunately, I actually don't like how these look uh, as much as the regular lanterns, they kind of have a nicer gradient. That sounds stupid to say, but um, these are kind of like a lower to upper and these are kind of like an outer to inner. It's weird, but it's like the orange going to yellow, if you don't know what I'm saying by gradient. Um, I, I don't know, but uh, I do like the concept of it and I do like the wiring between these. I think it looks really, really cool. And I'm just realizing now I never finished this pathway, but uh, you know, that's, that's a thing, whatever. Um, we're gonna get to see what it looks like at nighttime though, which is gonna be really cool. And one other thing that I kinda wanted to do, um, or there's a couple things that I wanted to do, but one of them I will do later, but I wanna point out now. So I did not make a current transformer. That is this thing right here. And it really doesn't do anything like you would think it does. So when you think of a transformer uh, in this pack, you'd probably think of the regular transformers, which are going to convert the power um, between you know different wire types. But this one actually doesn't alter the current in any way. All it does is monitor it, which is why you're attaching the voltometer or voltmeter, whatever, to the I guess top of it, um, and it'll give you a message in chat if you I think if you click on it. Uh, about how much power is passed through. So I actually do want to hook one of those up over here because a lot of our power sources, we know how much power they're getting us. But with these being at kind of like a, a different height and the fact that I'm going to attach more up there later to get more power and uh, the fact that some of them stop running and all that uh, makes it so I actually do want to know how much power I'm getting from that. So eventually I'm going to hook that up probably somewhere over here. But one other thing that I want to do, and I'm not sure if I can actually do this, um, so we're going to test it out right now. And if we can't, I do have a solution, but I do want to try and yeah. Okay. So I can't pull more than one wire from here, which is unfortunate, but it's true. So 
uh, what I want to do is kind of wire this around and attach it over there so that we don't have the cables running on that side of the road. So I don't want these right here anymore. I think it looks really bad coming out of the base. And all these are doing is giving power to the squeezer and the fermenter. And these guys aren't even running all the time. They're just kind of sitting here waiting. This one's running right now because we're actually getting less uh, sugar cane than we are getting the hemp fiber and hemp uh, seeds. But uh, eventually it will even out and these will just not be running a lot. And eventually when I do run it, there should be enough power back here that it'll be fine. But what we're going to do is use this high voltage capacitor, which we can do, you know, not using high voltage wires. And I guess we can kind of, uh, I guess we can break this one right here. And we can do this like this. So I have a bunch of these uh, wooden posts that we're going to put down. And I kind of want to see how I can put this down. So I want to put it down, I guess, somewhere like right here. And we're going to extend that. And we're going to put down, let me get this. We're going to put down the high voltage capacitor. I want to put it down like somewhere right over here. So I guess this is like the most ideal spot. So we're going to break that torch. And the only reason I say is because it kind of leaves room around the sides, even if I don't want to go around and kind of alter what is around them. So I could break the dirt, but I don't feel like it. So it is pushing out that side. You can see it's got the orange and the blue on the top is accepting energy. I'm always going to go over that, uh, even if it gets a little old for you guys, because if people are tuning in now, they might not know that. Um, we're going to be hooking this up from the top and back through the bottom. So we're going to be doing the medium voltage wire connector going on the top and medium voltage going on the side. And this is just kind of going to act like a power buffer. Now, I know I could have done this down there in place of the transformer, uh, but I didn't want to do it there because then it would not be buffering for both of these power uh, areas. Um, so we're going to do it like that. And I also wanted to have the breaker switch for the light. So if you're curious why I'm doing it now, it's you know, kind of wasting whatever I used for the transformer. Um, but I'm fine with it. So we're going to hook this up here now. And we're going to put a medium voltage wire connector here and hook that up. And then this one is going to get split between these two. And there we go. Okay, so it's going to get split there. And it's going to come over here to this one and go there. And now this one is going to run I actually don't know if it's close enough to this I feel like this is definitely too far so we might need to add a second one in here but right now we need to go and actually break what's over here so that this isn't connecting anymore and it doesn't really matter at this point because they're not running so I don't really care um, and we can just throw down a stone brick up there to fix that and now it's nice and open over here so we can actually do something over here if we wanted to uh, or, you know, we could always eventually run more power, but it will not be just for these two. It could be coming from, you know, another diesel generator or that diesel generator or anything like that. But we're going to break this one and bring it up here. And we're going to take our wire cutters. Actually, do we need wire cutters? No, you know, what? we actually don't need wire cutters right here. And the reason is because these are all connected correctly uh, and they're not connected to any power. So we just have to link it to this side. So that actually makes our lives a little bit easier. I don't need to be jumping around like a monkey up there. So we're definitely not going to be able to connect this. Like I'm saying that with almost 100% certainty. Yeah, okay. So too far away from the previous connection. We can extend this out a little bit uh, just because it's not at 16 blocks. Um, if you guys didn't know, it's 16, 16, 32. So uh, if, you're, if you're completely new to wiring, I guess I should say that. So we'll do this, and I think this is definitely close enough. Man, I need to fix what's in my hot bar. Okay, so there we go. And let's get out the, nope, not high voltage. We want the medium voltage, like so. And connect this. Let's verify that it actually can connect over here. There we go. And now we can connect it back, and this will split it. And there we go. Now something that is really cool that I actually could do um, is and I'm, I'm just thinking about this now is that there is such a thing as a redstone breaker now I believe that this functions it's got high voltage wire connectors um, so I'm not sure if this would work for high voltage or for what we have right here but um, 
I would be interested to see if for these lights, you could do it so this is a redstone breaker, and then you input a redstone signal from a day-night sensor, so when it becomes nighttime, the lights turn on. I think that would be really cool. That's a cool idea. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, but if you guys are curious, uh, the redstone breaker, that is how it functions. It just works that if it gets a redstone signal, it will do the whole breaking thing and you're not actually flipping a switch. Now, the main reason I'm leaving these on is because I'm not really worried about the power. And I'd be interested to see if we were to come over here, uh, how this is doing with filling up. Okay, so it's already full. Now, if I were to actually flip on this system down here, I want to see how much power that would burn through with all of these things functioning at once. So yes, that's very loud. I apologize. Uh, that's one of the main perks about that not being on all the time. Okay, so this is actually staying pretty stable. Uh, okay, so that's actually really nice. So everything is on. Everything that could burn power from that is. And it's actually not dropping in power, which is really awesome. So uh, obviously this whole system works now, guys. And someone in my dorm is being really obnoxious. So I think we're going to call it there so that you guys don't have to listen to that if you could possibly hear it. Um... But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little bit about wiring things up and altering stuff with transformers and measuring currents and all that good stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. And if you did find this video useful or my rambling, you know, entertaining in any way, feel free to give it a like. It helps me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later.